I come from a family of uh, Mexican migrant farm workers and grew up in a family of very strong women. My grandmother, who immigrated to this country, my mother's older sister, my aunt, my tia, and my mother, who had an incredible strong work ethic. Neither of my parents finished high school. I'm the second in my family to get to go to college, but for sure nobody was doing science. So some of the challenges that young people face in pursuing a career or studying life sciences is really a lack of access and opportunities. Since I was a student, um, I believe there was not this recognition of the paucity of scientists of color or clinicians of color or of women. Where we have failed is at the level of faculty. Diversity and inclusivity is critical in the field of health sciences because we know that faculty have not diversified literally over the last century. And that's very important because having role models from diverse backgrounds have a direct impact on students to climb the you know, academic ladder. There's a big drop off in diversity from the graduate student to the faculty level and it's because they don't see themselves reflected in the faculty. The challenges really are um, our access and opportunities. Dr. Trejo, in addition to being an excellent mentor, is an invaluable role model to the rest of us when we can see ourselves in her. She continues to be an example uh, to generations uh, of up and coming researchers and scientists. I would say a lot of postdocs don't have access to their research mentors, that Joanne actually takes time to sit down and make sure we learn. I joined the RACTA program. That's the Institutional Research and Career Development Award program, which Joanne is the director of. She will go out of her way to make sure that all her students have the tools that are necessary to succeed. Dr. Trejo has impacted my life and my career in science just by the mere fact that she gave me the opportunity to step into a research laboratory for the first time ever. In a career where it, it is already difficult to be, become a faculty member. So seeing someone there who has made it, I think is really important. She gets a sense with her committees of the students that have the potential to really grow in her program. So at UCSD, we uh, conducted an excellent search for diverse faculty. We formed a committee of diverse faculty from across health sciences. We did a national search. We identified outstanding high quality candidates that were incredibly diverse. We ended up recruiting four faculty using that sort of mechanism. Thank you to the American Society for Cell Biology and the HHMI. I'm very honored to receive this award. I am going to use the, the funds for the prize for inclusivity to support outreach and mentoring activities in two communities in San Diego, Barrio Logan and Sherman Heights. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Trejo. Thank you for being a role model and inspirational person for me. Your success is my success. Thank you so much for your mentorship these past few years. I really appreciate the guidance and support that you've given me in the diversity work that I've been able to do during graduate school. I just want to thank you for having the courage, the perseverance, the optimism, and the determination to be the advocate that so many people need now more than ever.